Something very interesting happened yesterday after the burial ceremony of the former president Daniel Torotijarap Moi. Gideon Moi took to his Facebook page and made a post and shared several photos. And after some time, he deleted one photo from that post. The photo of the deputy president William Samairoto. And I asked myself, why would Gideon Moy delete the photo of the deputy president from amongst several other photos he made on that day? Why would he do that? Now, for us to understand the details, let us just go back. And I want to read for you that particular post. Gideon Moy is saying, we are so much grateful to each and every single Kenyan who stood with us in our moments of grief. I am particularly indebted to His Excellency President Urumwe Kenyatta for his outpouring support and for according Mze a befitting send-off. From the entire Moi family, we are proud of each and every one of you for always clothing us in prayer. That's the post which Gideon Moy made on his Facebook page. And actually it was made at exactly 3.35 p.m. yesterday. I'm not sure whether by that time the body of Mze had been lowered. I want to assume the person who made this post was his handler. And let's just go back to the photos. Let's just go back to the, the, the photos which were shared, which accompanied that post. The first photo there is that of Gideon Moy himself. The second photo was that of President Uru Moe Kenyatta. I want to assume the third one was the one which was deleted of Uhuru, I mean of the DP William Ruto. The fourth one was that of Raila Amolodinga. Then there was the Musalia Mudavadi. There was Kalonzo Musioka. There was Moses Wetangula. And then there was Raymond Moy, his elder brother. And now the clergy, several other photos, the, the Jeshi, and Kenyan Su attended that ceremony. But I ask myself one simple question. Why would the, the senator for Baringo, who had just been given Fimbo Yanyayo, or Ire Rungu Yamoi, to take over the leadership from Moi, Delete only one photo from the entire album which he posted. Because I didn't follow that. I basically got a notification. There's a guy I follow, normally called, uh, called Lemiso Sato. I follow him. So he made up that post. And uh, I read it. And I was like, what? What's happening? That's when I went there. And what he posted, let me just, I'm just trying to get for you the post he made there yesterday. He posted something like this. Pettiness. A photo of the deputy president, Dr. William Ruto, posted by Gideon Moy, has been pulled out by Gideon Moy's handlers after gaining the most reaction. Over 4,000 comments. Over 1.5... No, over 4,000 reactions. 1.5 comments and over 200 shares. Once I read that, then I went to Gideon Moy's Facebook page. And after going to Gideon Moy's Facebook page, I tried to check what was happening. So I opened Gideon Moy's Facebook page. The comments by that time were around 200. So I, right now I'm seeing they are around. No comments by that time, I mean the, 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 the reactions were around 200. Right now I'm seeing the reactions around 1,000. Uhuru Kenyatta reactions was also around 200 somewhere there. But now I'm seeing it's 957. Raylo Dinga's reaction was around 300. Around that time. Right now I'm seeing it's 1.3, I mean 1,300. And Musalia Mudavadi, they were just ranging there. But I was asking myself, why would Kenyans go directly to Gideon Moy's Facebook page and choose one photo and within that time generate that kind of reactions and comments? That was outrageous. Then I decided, okay, let me go and check the Facebook page of the DP to figure out what could have happened. So I went to the DP's Facebook page and decided to go to the previous day. 
the day before yesterday, that was before, because that was not in contention. I went to, to check on his post, which he made at Nyayo Stadium and in Parliament when the, when the body of Moi was being viewed. So I checked, and even those comments were not that outrageous. In fact, the post he made, forget about going into his individual picture, the post he made there had 3,200 comments. Then there's another one which had... Uh, there's another one which had 1,400 1, comments. And then the, the day he was viewing the body, that one had 4,800 comments. Then I said, okay, those comments are so high. Let me go to Raila Odinga's Facebook page so that I can also get, get to understand how Kenyans malaria act. So I went to Raila Odinga's Facebook page because it was very interesting why the deep, why the why Gideon Moy pulled down that post? So I went to Ray Lodinga's Facebook page and went on that day at uh, and Ray Lodinga's page had three thousand four hundred. Then on the day of viewing the the, the body of Moy, he had four thousand three hundred, almost close to what close to what. William Ruto had. But I ask myself, why would Gideon Moy make a post on his Facebook page? And if it indeed is true, this, these were the numbers of comments and reactions. And why would some people just go there and like a specific picture? I couldn't, I couldn't get answers to that. But because I've been online, I've been in online business for a long time, I understand that Facebook page of the DP is normally managed by a team. And that team has a group of people behind them. Like they have a thousand guys behind them. That's where Lemiso is. And the work of this team is normally anytime they, they want to disseminate something, they are given and within a, a minute it's shared. If they want to comment negatively, like if Raila Odinga posts something and they want to manage it in a negative way, then those guys are activated. And they make the first comments in a kwanga negative, negative, negative. Even if they want to hit out Uhuru, Uhuru will make a post and this team will be activated and then they'll make negative comments, negative comments to, to, to shift the thinking. So I was trying to imagine, was it possible that these guys went to Gideon Moy's Facebook page and chose that photo to achieve certain political objectives? I couldn't get an answer to that. But why would Gideon Moy delete the photo of the DP. Because if he was thanking everybody, it was just right for him to include the photo of the deputy president because the deputy president was present there. He has been with them since that time. And if it was a mistake putting the photo of the DP, what would be the impact? Is it, would it just have been okay to retain that photo or to just let it there be? So in my thinking, I think Gideon Moy or his handlers decided to delete that photo because of the following. Number one, I think they wanted to send a clear message to Kenyans and the DP in particular that is not a welcomed guest within the Moy's family. That's what I can conclude. Because look at it, the DP was there. His supporters were there. Gideon Moy was there. Even people who don't believe in Gideon Moy were also there. Raila Dinga was there. Uhuru was there. Several other leaders were there. But what happened is that he decided to delete the photo of the deputy president. So what message is this? We don't want you. You are not part. So probably it's the handler who posted that photo. But Gideon Moy, after going through it, realized that there's the photo of the DP here. Kindly remove it. I don't want it. So the handler who is managing the page had no option but to remove 
that photo. And it can only be concluded that a message was being sent to the DP that in this family, you are unwanted. That's number one in my view. Number two, I think the handlers, if this post was removed by the handlers, the handlers realized that there was two things was happening. Number one, there was unusual traffic to that particular picture. Which means either someone was directing people to go and comment and like that photo, which is what happened, or there were bots. And these bots were very common during the last election, especially on President Uru Megai Kenyatta's Facebook page, which was, which was being run by Itumbi. Itumbi is very good at running those bots. So bots, the work of bots was, is normally very simple. If you make a tweet, a, a tweet, they retweet. If you make a post, they like, they, 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 they react to a tweet. So I think because they felt that there was an unusual traffic to this picture. So the best way was to, to delete it. Because it can't be that the DP himself made a post on his own Facebook page after that ceremony. Just almost the time before Gideon Moy made this. It can't be that in his own Facebook page, he was not getting that kind of reaction. But on Gideon Moy's Facebook page, he was getting that kind of reaction. So I want to believe that the guys realized that there was unusual traffic to that page. And to stop it was simple. Just delete the photo. Because basically I looked at the comments on the other individuals. If you look at the comments of uh, the comments Uru got, the comments Gideon Moy got, the comments these other guys got, one fact was clear, that there was consistency. And anybody who understands statistics would tell you that there was skewedness in that statistics. And that can only point to manipulation. Number two is something which also happened in the, in the tents. When the deputy president was invited to speak or to address the mourners, a particular section of the tent erupted. And I've gathered that that particular tent area where that eruption, where the cheering erupted, were actually people who were transported there by a key politician from Nakuru County. And these guys were given Kanu Kofia, because remember the family had announced previously that they will only allow people in Kanu, in Kanu uniforms. So someone went and, and printed Kofia as a Kanu, then gave these youths, transported them there. The purpose was simple, to make noise, to cheer the DP, and because they didn't know the reaction, how whether the DP was going to be allowed to speak or not, they were supposed to force that to happen. That's why if you look at those videos very carefully, the videos which were shared, there's one which was recorded by the media live. May you would I see the people the sitting at the front, turning back and looking at a particular corner, a particular area where the noise was coming from. And again, there's another video of the same which was recorded by someone who was at the back, just behind these people. And you can see a few people just immediately where this guy was recording from are just curious and some of them are wondering what's happening there. And you could also see them looking at the same direction. So I think Gideon Moy and his handlers might have been annoyed by that act. Because why would someone mobilize people in a funeral? I know the person who mobilized these people is just a supporter of the DP. Probably the DP and his handlers were not even aware of what was happening. And I've read a comment, I read a comment on um, Rono, Colenius Rono, one of the Gideon Moy's handlers, accused of being the guy managing that page. I'm sure it's not the one managing that page. And he made a comment in one of the posts, I can't remember on whose wall, that anybody who was in Kabarak 
will tell you that there was a group which was just seated somewhere many facilitated and they were the ones which made noise number three, the third reason i think it's all about the rift valley politics and that's a video which we are likely to work on again who between the dp and gideon moy should now be the leader of rift valley of course as things stand today the dp is way ahead of Gideon Moy. And it can be argued that Gideon Moy has not made any attempt to take over Rift Valley. But the mere fact that he was given that rungu now and he promised Kenyans that he will go now out there probably is the reason he didn't, he didn't want it to appear that the DP was overtaking him or was more popular even on his own personal Facebook page. And that's why he deleted that photo. So in the coming days we are going to have we are going to witness serious politics in Rift Valley. And lastly, I think probably maybe someone who is handling this page just made a mistake of posting that photo. Remember, during the time Moi died, at some point even when people were going for for the burial ceremony, for the burial service it at uh, for the memorial service at uh, Nyayo Stadium, even the media house, the only media houses which were allowed were two. Although that was later changed, but there were only two media houses which were allowed. And even at, uh, in, since this guy died, only KTN, KTN has been enjoyed, enjoying the, enough coverage. The rest always have restricted access. So probably these guys had agreed that there was, there was, there's a way they were going to control the narrative based on the what is aired out there, the kind of pictures which are circulated, and the rest. And maybe the guy who was managing the page didn't realize that the photo he was sharing was some of those photos which he ought not to have shared. I don't know what you think, but in my view, I think those are the reasons why Gideon Moy deleted that photo. And by deleting that photo, I am sure a message has been sent out to Kenyans that Gideon Moy and William Ruto will not be reading from the, from the same script moving forward. I don't know what you think. And if you are bumping on this video for the first time, I want you to just take a second or two and hit the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this one, you get notified. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. And just like I keep on requesting, I want you guys to help me create interactions especially on this video and you can only do that by either giving this video a thumbs up or thumbs down basically if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't like it just click the thumbs down there so that from there i'll be able to know whether the video was good or whether it was bad so that it can give me room to improve and the best one is to drop your comment you can always drop your comments but i know there are certain people who do not want to drop their comments because of their privacy or because of their names. <laughs> Thank you guys. And please may you have a good day.